And welcome to Flexible Games, where I am going to show you quickly how to use the Extreme Production Map download uh, that I include in the descriptions of my Extreme Production series. So once you download the Extreme Production.zip, inside is the Extreme Production folder. Now, keep in mind that that folder is important. So it, the place to put it, if you go to your users, username, app data, roaming, factorial folder inside factorial you should you may have a scenarios folder if you don't have this scenarios folder go ahead and create it and here it is right here scenarios all lowercase uh, and inside that folder is a bunch of other folders so unzip the file that you download in here and it should create an extreme production folder and inside of that is just the dat file that describes the level itself now to start the level you don't start it like a new game normally you start it with scenarios so I'm gonna pop open factorial really quick and uh, loads all the mods loads all the sprites all that kind of good stuff and let's see just load it in here once it's all loaded now keep in mind if you are going to play this mod or this map you want all of these mods installed uh, at the very least you're going to want Bob's ores otherwise the custom ores that I have laying about uh, won't be there so I have most of Bob's most of Bob's mods in here and uh, a few other ones that you don't necessarily need but uh, you know they're there from for my use to start the game once it's in the scenarios folder you do play and then this scenarios right here and then down here user scenarios there's your extreme production and that is how you hit create and then you jump right into the world from there and that is how you use the extreme production map uh, that I that I made available for everybody to use uh, that I had the same map that I'm using in the game. So that concludes the little tutorial on how to use the custom map for the Extreme Production series. And I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.